Before the success stories, the progress, there was you. You who made a choice to grow, to inspire, to overcome your own challenges. At NASM, we're in service of your limitless potential because when you keep growing, we all get stronger and we'll never stop making your journey our mission. Join the fitness leader. Become a fitness leader. Become a certified personal trainer. You're listening to Random Fit with hosts Wendy Batts and Ken Miller, winner of a Gold Markham Award for Digital Media. Welcome to Random Fit, everyone. I am Wendy Batts here with my friend and co-host, Ken Miller. How are you? I'm good, Wendy. How are you doing? You're looking great. Uh, I am good, actually. Yeah. It's uh it's a good time of year. It's pretty out. And uh, I love talking about all the things that we're talking about these days. So, okay. good day. <laughs> so, Ken, today we're talking about something that is near and dear to my heart because I often fall into this category and actually did this for almost a year. And it was basically trying to figure out how can I eat healthy when I'm never home? And this is now, I am going to say this was before I was married, and this was also before I had children. However, I had just moved into a new city and state. I had a brand new job. I wanted to go get my license. And because I moved into a different state, they were very strict, and I had to go back and take classes. So I would leave my house at 6 a.m., and I wouldn't get home until 11 p.m., and I did this five days a week. So with that being said, I could have grabbed food from any fast food place for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or I was trying to pack a dinner or think about what I was going to have over the weekends. However, because I was in school, I had to go and do some different things in order to get my hours in. So it was just a big hot mess. So today we're going to talk about if you're in that category or in that situation, or you have a thousand children and a bunch of things going on at work and you got a, you know, you got a husband that wants this and you, your kids want that and you don't know what to do. We are going to talk about decoding a dinner delivery and things to help you eat healthy and have meals for yourself and your family to get you through the week without stressing. <laughs> <laughs> You sounded like a hot mess back in the day. I, what do you mean back in the day? I still live in that, I still live in that world, but I do. I, I I can plan a little bit differently, but I'm not. Yeah. Can like these delivery services and the way that you can set it up, it was a game changer for me. Completely a game changer. It, I've used it myself. Um, actually, my wife was the one that says, oh, we're eating, uh, how did she say it? Something that really caught my ear. It's like, we're making dinner, but we're not making dinner. One of those comments, and then she explained to me what she had done. And she said, just keep an eye out on the porch, just to make sure that once the once the food gets delivered, that you know it's not sitting out there and we can bring it in. So that was my first experience to where it, and we'll talk about the different formats of these DIY <laughs> uh, <laughs> delivered foods, but it was really, it was really eye-opening as far as what was available out there. Because you know, unless I'm making it myself, or we go to one of our old favorite uh, takeout places, the idea of preparing food being prepared seemed to me, in my mind, something that the rich and famous were it would be the <laughs> ordering these you know catered meals you 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 you, you open up you, you, your dinner on a platter with a silver covering and you just here you go sir dinner is served you know napkin that's not how that goes no it's not how it works apparently oh, yeah. okay. but it's the not over here that way but maybe in california because you know everything's done differently out there that I missed something. <laughs> Maybe that's the extra service. That's the white glove service that you get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not room service at a hotel at the uh, four seasons, but the, the, the big takeaway for me, especially our first, my first experience with it is the, the fact that you, it, it's in a Brown bag. It's in, a, it was in a Brown bag and it was all the ingredients that were that were put inside, and then you assemble it all. 
which that was basically a crash course in 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 culinary arts for me is what but you just turn on the stove mix this and that and and voila. i didn't even do that ken you didn't do so, that <laughs> so so i will say and, and we're going to talk about different companies and like you said different ways of doing that as you can see the way that ken had his experience is something that's going to be a little different than mine i just like i said i just moved to atlanta and i didn't I was trying to find a healthy way of eating and trying to stay within a certain calorie limit because there were certain goals I wanted to hit. I was only able to work out obviously on certain times of the weekend because of my packed schedule. And I, I didn't want to blow it during the week and then just focus on the weekend on proper eating and staying with on, within a journey that I really wanted to be on at the time. And so with that being said, I found this company that also worked with a nonprofit, which is something I really liked. And the nonprofit was something that that I held near and dear to my heart. And so basically I could sign up for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I could sign up one day a week all the way to seven days a week. So I chose how many days of the week I wanted. And I would go and let's say on Monday, I would pick it up. They didn't deliver it to my door. There were certain places around the Atlanta area where you go and you you open up this refrigerator, it had your name and I would get three days worth of breakfast, lunch and dinner. At the time, I did all three meals because I didn't have time any other way. And these were already prepared meals where I did just throw them in the microwave or they didn't even need to be heated or there were certain things to, depending on what I wanted. But I'm also very picky and I'm allergic to a lot of foods. And so I was able to say, I'm going to blow your minds here. I can't have avocado and I can't have grapefruit and I can't have citrus and certain things are very well documented that, that if you have different um, allergies, you can check these different boxes and it automatically took those foods out of your choices. And so it was great because there was a huge variety, but it also, if I said I wanted to be within, let's say 2000 calories, they would give me options and they would portion that out for me. So therefore my breakfast, lunch, and dinner throughout that would, would come out to be exactly the amount of calories that I need. So if I ate a snack, it might take me over my calorie limit, or I made sure that I'm, I made it lower. So if I wanted to have certain snacks during the day, I could. So I didn't put anything together. I didn't cook anything, but I actually tried foods I would have never tried before and realized how much I actually liked them. How do you, how do you enjoy life, Wendy, when you can't, eat avocado <laughs> i i after well, you I said that i stopped avocado, listening citrus, and i don't like peanut butter so i am a hot mess friend. oh my god I know. <laughs> how does that work I, chicken so, <laughs> i would like chicken please <laughs> no guacamole for wendy nope. i'll take hers i'll take hers that, please that's what my husband always says yeah get guacamole on the side i'm like oh okay because it came on it and then he would just double his up so so it's uh, that that food service sounds odd because you had breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks. I, I could choose snacks. I ended up having certain snacks that I liked. So instead of paying additional money, because I mean, obviously it's not, it's not going to be something that's cheap. However, when we right. do talk about that, the convenience of it for me was amazing. And it was cost effective because I never had to go to the grocery store except for the basic stuff that I needed to drink or to snack on or things that I wanted over the weekend. And so when I looked at my grocery bill, if I were to cook some of that stuff myself, which I would have never done, but if I would have, it actually ended up coming down to, you know what, I would have spent the same thing, maybe a little bit more, but it's already prepared for me too. And we've, we've had the similar situation. So as, as I already briefly mentioned my first exposure to it all that was that but then when we've tried other other programs that that provided the same service the you know because there's allergies floating around our house as well so that was one key factor to where i can i can enjoy my food choice my wife can enjoy her food choice and my kids can enjoy their food choices all without having to worry about try this but don't eat that one and watch out for that and take this one out so the allergy part i i think is a really really big benefit to to choosing one of these one of these um, services because the last thing i want to do is really have to worry about 
finding a food or having an order an entree that is like there is there this and that mm-hmm. and being being mindful of that because when you go to a restaurant that's where you have to say oh I, I would love this but do you guys use this ingredient in that well traditionally we do but if we need to take it out we'll take it out but that's just one more step and you can't always rely on a restaurant for to take something out especially when that is the chef's regular routine and Can i you only speak when i, I travel I, out yeah, country yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah i Let hate tra- i hate traveling with you internationally wendy <laughs> cuz so, is this the way it's supposed to taste because this would be so much better if it had that herb or it's, traditionally it does but i just want to cook yes. y'all cook yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's raw i can do that myself okay when it's cooked right. that right. to me is a little bit more of a challenge for sure um i think it's also important ken to talk about when when you when this happens with my neighbor she is a huge fan of ordering she's got a family of there's four in their household and she often has people over. And so she does one of those box services where they deliver food. And, and she was telling me, you know, Wendy, kind of like what you said, all of these ingredients and I have to put it together. So even though it's conveniently done, meaning that everything's there, they still give you the recipe where you have to then put it all together and then you bake it or whatever. So it's not like it's something that doesn't take any time. You still need to say, okay, this is going to take 45 minutes before, you know, we're sitting down having our dinner with our friends and family or whatever it may be. So I think you have to look at your options. And this was one of those topics where like, you know what, people are going to either totally relate to us or they're going to think, oh my gosh, they really need to figure out better things to do in their life (laughs) and sit down and do the meal prep on Sundays. But Ken, I don't know about you. My Sundays are crazy too. Like every seems like, especially now. I mean, we we do. We talk about okay, this is going to be our menu for the week. This is our baseball practice. Oh, we've got playoffs over here. We've got this going on. Oh, don't forget this person's in town. So it's really hard to to think through what we're going to go and buy at the grocery store and what we're going to cook each and every week or every day of the week. But I'm telling you, if you're stressed out and you feel like you just can't have a healthy meal for you and your family. It is definitely something a couple days a week that may take the stress off of you. And then you just got to figure out what it is that's going to help you. If you still have to put something together and that's still going to stress you out, me, um, maybe that's not the right option. But if there's something that can help a nonprofit, I'm also going to be eating foods. My family's going to be eating foods. I know what the food tastes like. I can say I want a Mediterranean diet. I want a vegan. I want a vegetarian diet. I want a keto diet. You can put in there and then these options all come up and I just check boxes. Maybe that will help with you. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. So on this episode of Random Fit, we're talking about decoding dinner delivery and my my co-host, Wendy Batts and I, Ken Miller, we're talking about... (laughs) How, how do we how we prepare meals in the most almost most convenient way possible? Now, Wendy, the some assembly required format, I, I kind of like because you you get the food in a box or a bag. And what I really love about that is that they give you the amount you're going to use. How many times have you had a recipe that said uh, a sprig of this or a slice of that, but you have the whole rest of what you bought sitting there? Well, what is a sprig and a slice? How big is your slice? How big is your sprig? Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So when when you weigh everything out, there's always going to be left something left over. So if I had to buy a whole bag of flour and I only needed a cup, now I have a whole bag of flowers and that's when it be used. Time to bake the bread. <laughs> yeah, no, we have to, yeah. We have any overripe bananas I can make into something. Uh, so I, I, I love the fact that I waste less food, right? So I have, and I have less food sitting in my cupboard waiting for me to make another version of that dish with that ingredient. So I like the fact that you have what you, need in there nothing more nothing less just based on your taste 
So it also means I don't have to go up and down the aisle looking for the sprig of whatever or having to ask the guy at the grocery store, hey, do you happen to have this ingredient? Oh, it's come over here. It's in this aisle. So I would have never thought that that ingredient would be in that aisle. So just from, and I guess that's just a reflection of how I shop. But you, you have- you know, The most embarrassing thing for me is I had a recipe and I was like trying to figure out what something was and I was looking in the spices and it was actually like a vegetable. <laughs> like I had never, <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't even remotely close to where I needed to be to find whatever was on this. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe this wasn't the right recipe for me. And then I spent all day cooking it. I was super excited about it. Something different, super healthy. It tasted terrible. I wasted a bunch of time, a bunch of money. I hated it. It wasn't paprika, was it? Paprika. It's, no. It wasn't paprika. The Serbians taught us well, y'all, about paprika. Yes, so. I love paprika now. Now I, I have a whole new appreciation. Can't find the peppers to actually grill it like them. However, no. Nope. But it's really just powder. The, the other part. Sorry. <laughs> but we digress. Yeah. Uh, digress. The, the other part of it is if you like what you just ordered and you assembled it they gave you the ingredients you have the recipe card so now if you if you said hey this was great i can see myself making this again because the the preparation there was not a whole lot of steps it was fast i like the the taste the flavor you have the recipe card you can make it again but now you have to go get everything but you have an opportunity to use that learning experience of how to assemble it and make that a, a meal for another time because you have the ingredient, you know how much, you know how to prepare it, you know how long it tastes, how long it takes, and you know how it tastes. And that was the biggest takeaway for me when it came to that um, to that method or that that way of of having um, you know food delivered to me. Just I could well, do it myself. And I I think one of the last points I really wanted to stress too is you have to find what's going to work for you. As you can see, Ken and I are a little bit different. I want super yeah, clean, but healthy. You want healthy and be able to prepare and buy again and, and do that. Both great options. But there's also two, you need to think about the convenience of what it is. It's obviously going to help tailor to your needs and what you want or your family needs. But there's also, too, you want to look at all the different companies that's out there because, Ken, I think you were the one that told me that it's a month to month or there's memberships that you can buy the way that you set it up. Ours was done where each week you went in, you would commit for a month and then you went in each week of whether you wanted breakfast, lunch, dinner or however you wanted to structure it. And then you could cancel at any time. There was no, nothing where you were in this three year or three month lockdown of like you have to get their food. Do you know, I know you were doing some research on some of the other companies out there too. Uh, what did you find based on cost and are you locked into something? The the biggest thing I would, well, the, the numbers that I was looking at was related more towards dollars per meal, mm -hmm. which was anywhere from seven fifty something along those lines up to eleven fifty twelve dollars per meal so it's well thirteen dollars per meal depending on who you go to plus if you're going to tip somebody which it's always nice you know coming from somebody who used to deliver stuff but the dollar per meal was one of the considered way you really want to break it down because you can get bogged down into add-ons and things like that so once you look at how much you want to invest, how much you can afford, what fits into your, your grocery. And that's where I would look at it. It's more into your grocery budget. As, as I was talking to one of our registered dietitian friends, if you're talking about having the ingredients, but if you're looking at the other way as a dining out budget, because you're not actually it's if it's more the pre pre-made just open and eat type of thing it just depends on how you want to categorize it but whatever the budget uh line item may be looking at the dollar per meal again if you're talking about something that's more exotic more exotic ingredients those dishes that are more meat based which will drive up the cost of the actual meal or if you're someone who's more vegetarian or more vegetable bias the costs are going to be different so that's the way you want to look at it so if you're like you wendy breakfast lunch and dinner 
right? Maybe terrible, snacks. Terrible, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm looking at these. I don't do that anymore. I have a family. Spend... I cook. <laughs> but I'm just saying, there are times where in my life, that's what I did. And I'm super grateful. But to your point, Ken, I will say, when I first sat down and was like, I need help. I can't do this. I went a whole day and was like, it was nine o'clock at night. And I'm like, did I have breakfast? I don't think I ate lunch, but I had like 10 cups of coffee and thought I didn't eat anything. That was not good having that extreme. And people yeah. were like, how did you do that? I was just busy and I kept, I was on the go because if I had a break, I was doing homework. I was trying to do this. I was trying to do that. But one of the things when I first sat down and we're, we're looking at my options, I, again, I looked at something that was going to be helpful to different organizations. Some people in some states may not have that. It depends on your city. Right. So I tell you to look local first because it may be cheaper than some of these bigger box manufacturing companies that may not, that have to like d distribute your food, then the cost of the shipping may be higher. All of those things need to be in consideration. I picked up my food from places that were dropped off. So that helped on, on the shipping and cost. There was not, mm -hmm. no delivery fee because they didn't deliver it directly to me. But I was shell shocked when I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be this month or this much a month. But when I did the breakdown, it ended up being like $5 or $6 for breakfast and like eight to 10 for lunch. And then like, to your point, I'm a huge meat person. I love protein. I love meat and I like chicken. I like beef. I like different things like that. But my meals were 12 to $15 max. So when you calculate that in one day, it can be a lot. However, to your point, maybe I wanted a vegetable day. Each thing kind of varied, but those are things I would have never cooked for myself. If I would have gone to a restaurant, I would have just paid that in one or two meals. And so you really want to, before you get shell shocked, think about what you're asking for and then see if it makes sense in your budget. And then it's also going to be something on a dietary, your dietary plan, whatever that may be, that's going to benefit you and your health and your, your psyche, whatever that might be, because taking one or two months off utilizing some sort of service, like we just talked about, can really sometimes decrease your stress and give you more time with your family. If you're running ragged and feel like you're, you're just, you just need time for yourself. Right. And the one thing that I do want to say, too, is that we tried different companies, different delivery companies uh, for this for the service based on some of the, the the coupons and the discounts and the and the first time uh, the first time buyers. So there were some really good, attractive uh, promotional programs out there that helped us say, yeah, let's give us what you know, they, they're giving us three meals for free or $15 off of our first order. So whatever the promotional deal is, that is an option for you to look at. Well, maybe I will try the assemble yourself uh, meal option, or maybe I'll try this where it's this type of food where I've never had that type of food, or usually it's on this on this side of the budgetary spectrum, but because of that discount, I'll, I'll try it out. So we've tried other programs just based on, based on the, some of the promotional program. And, and we were glad that we did when we experienced what it was that they had to offer. So something to keep in mind, if you're thinking about doing this, if you haven't done it before, but first time, first time, buyers are, you know, there's a lot of incentives out there to, to actually just dip your foot in the pool and, and give something a try. And if you're not sure, just start looking up the different delivery services because we did that for this episode. And my phone is constantly like, oh, you looked at Factor, you looked at HelloFresh, you looked at this, you looked, because I wanted to see the different memberships. I wanted to know what was out there, what are their options? And mm -hmm. I was just comparing for the, for the show just to have some ideas of what else was out there versus what I tried. And Ken, now it's like, oh, try, come back and see, I'll give you this percentage off and something I may take advantage of. I'm just saying. I know, I know. I'm going to <laughs> going online. I know. Just you type know in really delivery yeah. services. <laughs> yeah. Give it a try. So I, I think this is one of those, if, if you're, if you're, if you don't have time to go to your grocery store, or if, if you don't want to go out and, or if you can't go out and you're just tired of the same old takeout food, try this. And, you know, I, I'll, I'll say this too, that 
getting my kids to see and taste and experience different foods was one of the big points for me as far as getting exposed to, okay, how do you prepare this? How does this type of food taste when it's not usually, it's not a restaurant in my, in my local town. It's not one of our menu items in our go-to restaurant. So just a way to get them exposure to different flavors and different styles of, of eating. So I think that that's was, a huge yeah. point because I don't yeah. know, in my, in my household, my husband is an amazing griller. We grill a bunch of different things and depending on our, our night, he's, he's got the grilling, but if it's my night or it's, let's say taco Tuesday and Tuesday is just not going to work because I had, I was gone all day and I didn't take out the meat and I wasn't doing the things that I needed to do to prepare for dinner. And then all of a sudden we're having to have Mexican Monday because I can't do taco Tuesday because I, you know, it, it's a hot mess because we theme things. <laughs> so it was just, what do we do? We went out. What do we do? We just went out. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> yeah. So I ended up spending probably half of what I would have spent for an entire month on this type of service for one meal because it just did, things were a little crazier than anticipated. And yeah, that's funny, Wendy, because in, in talking about this, <laughs> I didn't realize you you had done as much with that. Part, took part in these delivery <laughs> services as as much as I well. You had a different experience than I have, but it's funny when you bring this up in conversation, everybody's tried it. Oh yeah. So a lot of people have tried it. I'm like, oh, did you like it? All right, mm -hmm. I guess I'll put that on my list of next next companies to try. So well, this is yeah. It may fit within, and, and yeah. that's just it. We were here to tell you it's convenient. You need to see if it's within your budget. Just know there's options. And the biggest thing for me was that I can choose whatever type of calorie restrictions I wanted. I could choose whatever meals I wanted. I wasn't locked into anything. It was super convenient. I was helping out an organization. There's a lot of options out there. Yeah. Variety of food, to your point, open your palate and uh, maybe give it a try. Yeah, give it a try. No, it not a, a maybe, give it a try. <laughs> so. All right, so everybody, hey, you, you've had some insight on how Wendy and I feed ourselves and our family. So <laughs> hopefully, you, hopefully you got something out of it on this episode of Random Fit. So like, follow, subscribe, share, download, uh, give us a, a five-star rating if you please. Uh, but on behalf of both Wendy Bats and I, thank you so much for listening to us and taking your time in being educated, especially on this episode on decoding de dinner deliveries. So until next time, everybody, take care and be well. <laughs>